I'm going to push a little further with the texturing of this sci-fi PDA in Substance Painter and Blender. All right, so I've got uh, the part here that I'm referring to as the case, and I'm going to bring that into Substance Painter, and then I'm going to do the grips. It'll be very straightforward. There it is in Substance Painter, and I'm going to go ahead and bake the mesh maps. I've got this labeled as case, bake mesh maps. I'll do this at 2048 without an ID mask or map. And with that done, I'm going to delete the default layer and come over to materials and I'm going to search for plastic. I'm going to use this plastic grainy here. And I'm going to come in and change the scale, I think, to 12. And that is all I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to do text and stuff in Blender. I don't want it uh, dirtied up or anything, so I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to save that over here in Blender. I'm going to take this case material here. Shift Control T. And there it is right there. Base color to roughness. PDA case 2 actually. And we've got that on there. Okay. Now we're going to grab these. They're already uh, UV'd. So I'm going to export those. Here they are. Let's bake those. I'll do 10, I'll do 2048 again. Okay, now let's try this grid bumpy. Uh, is that the one? No, I think I'll do this diamond. And let's change this to 12 and see what that looks like. But I'm going to change the color here. And I'm going to color pick from from here. So I'm going to choose this and I think we're going to go for, we'll try this orange and see how I like it. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, come to Blender, Shift Control T, and uh, See if that's it. Let's try just a more neutral. I may change the color of that. Okay. Very good. Now we move on to this stuff here. I'm not sure about this thing here. I should have all of these ready to go, including the back clip and that. Okay, I'm going to export those. Okay, there they are. I think I might do this at 1024. Now we'll go ahead. And we'll do 2048. Okay. All right, so this is metal here. There's all really not that much metal in here. In fact, I think I'm using a smart material metal. Let me use this one. It's just a typical kind of a metal. Um, but I only want it on a few things. Um, and so I'm going to add, I think, another fill layer. Uh, let's see. Actually, take it back. I'm going to bring that plastic grainy in again. Let's get rid of that. Let's come to here and let's change the scale. We'll try 12 again. I want things like the clip back here, the belt clip. That's probably going to be okay. All right, so I'm going to put a black mask on there. And I'm going to come over here and switch to mesh. I want that black. I want that black. I want that black and the buttons black. I think everything else I might leave as metal. Um, not sure about that thing. No, let's make that black as well. So, 
I get it all? Yeah. Let's try that. What about, what about maybe that dot there? All right, we'll see. So this is labeled as metal. So here we go. By the way, I switched that screen so that if you were looking down from the top, it would look like that. So this is what I get so far. Um, let's look from the front and try just putting a, a decal on here. Let's uh, select something central. Bring my 3D cursor there and bring in an image as planes. Let's see. This I have something prepared. PDA. There. All right. I'm going to add an edge loop. Bring it near the top. I don't need all of this. I'm going to cut it off. And that'll make it easier to shrink there or shrink wrap this on press three for face selection and select all this extra stuff there we go so i'm just left with that i'm gonna bring it close and, and put it somewhere like that shrink wrap and we will select here Let's try project. And that is on there. And I will just take it though in the shading tab and come into the material. And I'm going to drop the roughness and add a clear coat. Put it like that. And I will probably do some similar stuff for these buttons. I'll make some I'll make some text and put it on. And that will bring me very close to the end of what I want to do. Uh, let me try just a couple of different. There, that's the one I like better. Yeah. Okay, now uh, I just want to think about this. Let's come in here. And look at color of this and try to remember where is it oh by the way I added a little bit as well eh? uh, and that's the border let's first of all just look at this and see if I would want to change this Let me um, take that and color pick that and just see. That might be too much. Yeah. Well, I may work on something that's... Uh, that would uh, would fit nicely. So let me back out of that. In fact, I wonder if that one should be blue. All right. Well, I don't really know, but uh, that's what I'm coming up with for my sci-fi PDA so far. All right. And I still have that thing there. I was thinking of like a power button you know, indicator. Uh, a little bit more text here. Maybe a deco on the back and. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. So, cool. Yeah, we'll come on, we'll finish this up, and we'll move on to something new. Thanks for watching.